What's new all my fantastic freelancer friends? William here with yet another Your Anthem video and today we will be discussing the mysterious Interceptor Javelin. As many of you know, Anthem has four types of Javelins. The Well-Rounded Ranger, the Hulking Tank Colossus, the Glass Cannon and Almost Magical Storm, and lastly, the Interceptor. The reason why I find the Interceptor so interesting is we just got our first look at our slimmest Javelin recently at E3 2018. And when I say first look, I mean that's all we got. Aside from a brief appearance in the cinematic, we know little about this javelin. However, there is a lot that we can infer and eliminate in order to narrow down what the role of this suit could be. Obviously, none of this is official, but try to hear me out. First of all, in most RPGs, there are three types of roles. The DPS, the tank, and the healer. Thanks to a tweet from Mark Dara recently, it has been made apparent that our suits will not heal damage over time, and instead we will have to find health pickups. Now, this does not rule out our javelins possibly having healer friends friendly gear attachments. I'd imagine the Mobile Storm would be the most likely candidate for such a gear attachment, but that rules out that any one suit having the role, thereby breaking the three typical roles you have in an RPG. Now moving on, I know a lot of people have pointed out that in the cinematic trailer, the Interceptor saved that Ranger from getting flattened like the Metal Gear Solid series. Some are saying it could be indicative of a potential support role, but I say otherwise. In that same trailer, we also see the Interceptor use a frost grenade on a group of enemies which led many to believe that the frost grenade ability was one shared amongst the javelins. According to a recent tweet by Mark Dara in regards to the accuracy of the cinematic trailer on the javelins gear loadouts, he says that it was a creative liberty taken by the people making the trailer. Grenades are a ranger gear piece. My point is, don't take mechanics from a game trailer. This is meant to make the game and its characters look epic not necessarily indicative of what they can actually do. So this brings us back to the drawing board. Anthem breaks the typical RPG DPS tank and healer trio, seeing as it doesn't have a specified healing class. And since it doesn't, what are we looking at? Well, another theory which I think is the best one comes to mind. What about class systems slash playstyles? We obviously have the tank down in the Colossus, we have the all-around balanced character, the Ranger, and we have the glass cannon slash magic wielder, the Storm. So. What does that leave us with? Now, don't be a smart aleck and start listing off half a dozen other types. The type that we're missing is the Stealthy Assassin. Now, hear me out. We know the Interceptor is the fastest on land and the most nimble, or so we've been told. What good does speed do you in a shooter game unless you need to get up close to an enemy or run away? From what I've seen and heard so far, no Javelin suit is meant to stay in the back and hang out. Relatively up close and personal, to a degree, seems to be how the game is played, or how they want you to play it. Snipers and DMRs are the exception, of course. Having speed would certainly give you the upper hand at going from enemy to enemy and absolutely shredding them, something an assassin would be very good at. But this is all speculation, correct? Well, of course. But this is the part where I would like to enter Exhibit A into evidence, Your Honor, as it helps to establish the point. In a piece of concept art for Anthem, we see everyone doing their part. The Colossus is tanking, the storm is storming, and so on. But what's this? A speedster with dual knives making a charge? Is this a possible ultimate ability, or is this just giving us an idea of what type of class the Interceptor plays as? Speed, stealth, agile, stabby stabby? Could this javelin look any more like an assassin? Now, I would like to point out a tweet from Mark Dara stating that melee-only builds will not be in the game at launch. However, in a recent Q&A session with Mark Dara and John Warner, the question was asked, Are there swords? To which their response was, Uh, we're not talking about, talk being about that. the <laughs> Interceptor and Storm at the moment. <laughs> uh, read into that. How mm, could, you, like, could be Daddy's thing. Could be a broomstick, we don't know. Kind of interesting if you ask me. Call it what you will, but I definitely think this is more than a hint. It's verification. My final piece of evidence comes in the form of an undiscussed mechanic in the game, stealth. While it has neither been confirmed or denied, I find this tweet to John Warner to be kind of interesting, especially his reply. Typically, when you are referring to stealth in games, you're either talking about a cloaking mechanic or sneaking and crouching mechanics. Seeing as crouching mechanics are out of the picture thanks to another tweet by John Warner that really only leaves us with one option, cloaking, or more accurately, the cloak and dagger approach. So given all this information and speculation, what are my final thoughts on the Interceptor Javelin? He's definitely going to play the role of the assassin in the game. The concept art of the Interceptor using his daggers, the fact that the devs are dodging stealth mechanics as well as the use of swords as a melee weapon, and given what we know about the Interceptor's speed capabilities, I think the assassin class is the only Javelin type that could fit its description. 
How will the Interceptor ultimately play? It's anyone's guess at this point. From what the devs have been saying, the Ranger and the Colossus are much further along than either the Storm or the Interceptor, as we continually see. More than likely, we'll get to see Storm gameplay long before we see any Interceptor gameplay. But for now, I'm definitely calling it Interceptor equals Assassin. Anyways, you fantastic freelancers, this is where I'm going to sign off. If you have any other ideas what the Interceptor could be, feel free to leave a comment, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It means a lot to me, and allows me to reach more freelancers just like you. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you freelancers in the next one. Peace out, everybody.